Okay, welcome to this video. We're going to look at converting a recurring decimal to a fraction. The first thing we're going to need to know is what is a recurring decimal? Okay, you usually see decimals written like this 0 0.125, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. A recurring decimal is one like this 0 0.2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. It never ends, right? And we can represent that with a 0 0.2 with a dot above it. Okay, it doesn't have to be 0 0.2, it could be 0 0.3 recurring. It might be 0 0.252525 and so on. And we represent that like this, 0 0.25 with a dot above the 2 and the 5. It might even be 0 0.343, 343, 343 and so on. And the way we'd represent that is 0 0.343 with a dot above each 3. And everything contained within those two recurring dots is what is repeating. Okay, so that's what a recurring decimal is. It's just a decimal that never ends. So, you could be asked in an exam to write one of these recurring decimals as a fraction. So, for example, here, write 0 0.8 recurring as a fraction. And this is actually quite easy to do. The first step is you want to say let x equal 0 0.8 recurring. All we've done there is we've just said the letter x is the, exactly the same as 0 0.8 recurring. Okay, that's literally it. Then we need to look at, the, look at the decimal here and we need to multiply it by a multiple of 10 so that we move the recurring part to the other side of the decimal point. Okay, We just want to move it over 1 to the other side of the decimal point. So if I multiply it by 10, then it, if I've got 0 0.8 recurring and I multiply it by 10, I would get 8.8 recurring. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 10, so I've got 10x is equal to 8.8 .8 recurring. Okay. Now you may be able to spot okay, something that we could do here that might help, but we want to eliminate the recurring part of the decimal. That's the goal. And you might notice if I take 10x and I subtract x from it, well, I'll have 9x. But you'll also notice on this side that I'll eliminate the recurring part and I'll just be left with 8. So we've eliminated the recurring part of the decimal, which is the goal. From here, we want to get x on its own. So I could divide both sides by 9, and then I get x is equal to 8 over 9. Now the reason this is useful is because earlier I said that x is equal to 0 0.8 recurring and down here I've got that x is also equal to 8 over 9 which is a fraction. So I've converted 0 0.8 recurring into a, uh, a fraction sorry, that is 0, uh, 8 over 9. And that's it. Okay. Let's take a look at a slightly more mm, a different example. So this time we've got 0 0.343 recurring and I want to remove the whole recurring part, the first bit of it, to the other side of the decimal point. So you can see these three digits need to move over to this side. So we'll start with the way we always do. We'll say let x equal 0.343 recurring. And then I'm going to say, well, how can I move those three digits to the other side? Well, I could multiply them by 1,000. So 1,000x is going to be equal to 343.343 recurring. And now you'll probably see, well, now we can eliminate this recurring part by subtracting x from 1000x. And that gives me 999x equal to 343. I can then divide both sides by 999 to get x on its own. And I get 343 over 999 is equal to x, which is helpful because if you look, x is equal to 0 0.343 and x is also equal to 343 divided by 999. So 0 0.343 recurring is equal to 343 divided by 999. Job done. Now there's one final type that you might have to do, which is, it's not very tricky, but it's the trickier type, okay? And we'll start the way we always do. Let x equal 0 0.16 recurring, okay? Nice and easy. From here, okay, we're going to move this recurring part to the other side of the decimal point. So to do that, I'm going to times it by 100. So I've got 100x is equal to, well, it would be 16.6 .6 recurring. Okay, now you could try it for yourself, but if I subtracted x from 100x, the recurring part of the decimal is still going to be there. I haven't eliminated it, okay? And that's what I want to do. I want to make it <clears throat> just an integer. I want to make it a whole number. So, what I, my next step is, I need to multiply x by something so that I move the non-recurring part to the other side of the decimal point. So to move the non-recurring part over, I'm going to multiply it by 10. 
So I get 10x is equal to 1.6 recurring. And now you can see I've got 0.6 recurring on both parts. So I can do 100x subtract 10x. And that leaves me with 90x is equal to 15. And from here, I can divide both sides by 90. And we get x is equal to 15 over 90, which can be simplified to 1 6, I think. And there we go, we've done it. We've got x is equal to 1 over 6. And x is also equal to 0 0.16 recurring. So 1 over 6 is equal to 0 0.16 recurring. Now, if you want to try something quite interesting, you can try and write 0 0.9 recurring as a fraction and see what happens. Uh, and that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Go over my tick to my TikTok, which is in the description, uh, for more worked exam questions. Thanks for watching.